Hey guys, this is my 3D printer. It is the Schreibotics Fabricator Mark I. This is a group I attend. This 3D printer was built by me uh, many years ago. It's the Schreibotics Fabricator Mark I. It is an FDM 3D printer. It prints nicely. It printed a bunch of Legos the other day. It printed a bunch of parts for the Shrebotics Fabricator Mark II. Of course, this 3D printer is like in a state of dysentery because um, it was poorly built by me. <laughs> Not only that, but it didn't even work when I first assembled it. It wasn't my fault. It was a problem with the manufacturer, like the motherboard completely fried when I first got it. The extruder mount wasn't always made of wood. It had to be replaced and built by me. And um, the hot end, the original hot end on it didn't even work when I first got it. It was completely crap. But hey, I'm just happy it works now, to be honest print stuff all the time. Like it prints Legos. It prints parts for my new 3D printer. I'm 3D printing a 3D printer. It's pretty amazing. And 3D printing, a 3D printer is the best way to go, in my opinion. Also, this is my fan. It's pulling down the print at the moment. Since it's PLA, it needs to harden pretty quickly. And here is the Shrebotics Fabricator Mark II. It is an SLA 3D printer, completely built and designed by me. This was laser cut. These were 3D printed poorly by me. These were 3D printed on a better 3D printer it's actually a replicator too. Borrowed it from my friends. Let me get some light. There isn't enough light at the moment. Or maybe that's just me. I don't know. You see, this is the Z-axis bed mount. If you can see it better. Not sure if you can. But it was completely built by me. It uses a threaded rod along with an, a wedge nut that's fit in there. A wedge nut is basically a nut that has a, sl a slightly smaller than a regular nut so it can fit in tight spaces. There is my um, railing. There's supposed to be a smooth rod in here. And this just reduces friction, the metal part where the smooth rod goes. And it's eventually going to attach to, to this right here. This is a roller skate bearing. This is where the threaded rod is going to go. This is where the smooth rod is hopefully going to be hot glued there. And right here, is where the limit switch goes so it knows when it's gone too far and this right here is gonna have a big bolt that um it's gonna touch the end stop hopefully if it works correctly kind of a little worried about that actually that it's not gonna touch but anyways there's my stepper motor. Doesn't have all the parts yet. All the parts, most of the parts that are going to be laser cutted have already been laser cutted. And this is a group I attend. In case I already haven't said that. So, anyways, guys, thank you for watching and bye.